As you're wrapping up your holiday shopping, you might want to keep your eyes open for pop-up shops throughout the area. And we have lots of great bars and restaurants and, and nightlife, but the one thing that I think we're missing is retail. Nick Giancola is co-owner of Spruce Home Decor. He says opening a pop-up shop in Youngstown was a great way to bring back the old-fashioned Christmas shopping experience. It's been wonderful. We're hearing stories of yesteryears uh, when the city was booming and when people were down here and this is where they came to shop for Christmas. Giancola says he's using the pop-up shop as a case study to find out if opening a full-time retail shop can be supported downtown. We've had an overwhelming response of people saying, this is great, we wish you were here year round. So that's going to definitely make us think um, about what we're going to do next. I think 2019 will be a big year for Spruce um, with a second location or possibly a third on the way. If you're taking a stroll through the Southern Park Mall in Boardman, you'll find the Youngstown Clothing Company shop near the food court. The past two holiday seasons, we've had a little kiosk set up out, out in the corridor. This year, we had the opportunity to fill an inline, so, you know, we, we hopped on it. Matt McClure, founder of Youngstown Clothing Company, says running a pop-up shop is a great way to connect with his customers. It's great to have this opportunity to be able to be here and everything, put everything in front of everybody at once. With the success of the online store and the pop-up shop, McClure says he hopes to stay in the mall past December 29th, which as of right now is the last day they're scheduled to operate in the retail spot or perhaps find a location downtown. Things are going really good and we just kind of want to keep this momentum rolling. And so we're looking a few places downtown and just elsewhere around town and hoping that we can maybe find our uh, permanent home. Over in the Shenango Valley Mall, the fundraising organization All Paws Matter has set up shop to make it easy for pet parents to grab a gift and to help animals in need. We have our sponsor trees. They are out in front of our store and they have pictures of adoptable pets from four different rescues. If you take your ornament, which is the picture of each pet, you can do a monetary donation to them and that money will go specifically to that pet. Kim Burdick is president of the organization and says in addition to the sponsor trees, the organization is running a pet supply drive and a stocking drive out of the pop-up shop. We're trying to get a hundred stockings filled with all dog toys and treats and we would like to get 50 of them all filled for cats and then we will distribute those, divide those up amongst the rescues. The shop is open daily from December 13th through the 23rd where staff also take donations. Overall, shop owners say the pop-up shops are benefiting them as well as their customers. I think that it's wonderful because there, it gives you more selection. In these types of stores, you can find a lot more unique items. They kind of check out our stuff and, you know, kind of see what all we have to offer and usually a lot of times they're surprised that you know we have as much as we do. I think a pop-up shop is a great way to keep your overhead low and expose your brand to um, individuals in the community.